What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since the last video, but I'm back now and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to essentially put ring hoops into a trucker cap or snapback. So essentially what we're going to be doing today is something like this where I have this normal trucker cap that I bought from a flea market essentially. I would never buy garbage like this to wear obviously. So what we're going to be doing is this kind of like a nice thing and this is becoming a bit of a trend among like K-pop right now. I think Koreans pretty much came up with this whole idea to put these uh, uh, rings on the trucker cap. Sometimes they don't have even these um, kind of a sockets here so sometimes they look something like this which is another test that I had where it's just the ring. I don't think this looks as cool as the one that I just showed you but um, that's what we're going to be essentially doing and there are many applications that you can do and many things you can put inside of these things and that's what I always being compelled about the whole like hats is a medium or like a, a clothing piece so to speak because you can do so many different things and snapbacks are like a relatively new thing they came in like I don't know last early 2000s and people haven't even like fully noticed the full potential so one thing that I have to show you that there are uh, different types of material when it comes to the snaps or the brim so to speak so this is a normal brim that most of snapbacks and trucker caps are made out of this is sort of a type of a plastic I don't remember what this is called right now but essentially this bends a lot and this is like a bit more uh, durable material but you can still drill or like punch through it essentially and then we have uh, this is a bit more uncommon some more garbage and cheaper materials used like cardboard this is obviously really bad for water even though there's a fabric top of it it will get into very damaged this is also another one that I bought used already you can see over the cracks here so cardboard is really fucking bad material so that's pretty much of the brims and we're going to be using this one this is also one that i test copy that i bought and essentially we're going to be you know doing drills on or doing holes here and there are a couple of ways which you can do to do the holes there are luckily many options for people who can't afford to buy tools even though the tools are relatively cheap in this industry we have a cheap thing like this which can like puncture things so, so essentially you can push it through and essentially you'll get it to the other side this is pretty thick material what we will be using today and it's not that easy to puncture a hole but this is obviously will take millions of time but if you're gonna be planning a hole where to put it this is obviously a great place to do the marker and it has to be relatively around the corner otherwise if the ring is too small it's hard to get it in and another one is um i don't remember what this is called but essentially this is a pretty good tool too this is used to do holes on belts so if you gain some weight you need more uh, little slots on the belt you can use this and uh, uh even even yeah you can you can you can this and it does like almost a hole there if you can see um but it's not really noticeable on the other side so this is this is uh, efficient for a bit like uh not so strong types of fabrics to use but this is pretty cheap tool um, to use as well and also very efficient but since i am a manly man i'm gonna be using a very fast and this is not a way that i'm gonna be would recommend but essentially i'll be drilling the thing because i, I feel like that's the fastest way to show you but this is not a way that i'm like essentially telling you to do it it's not very efficient and it can be a bit dangerous too but most households you know have these so not all of these people have these fancy tools so even though those are cheap i mean yeah so essentially what you need uh if you have some good place to do a hole um you need a spot where essentially so there we have a hole um it's not too, it's not, we didn't go deep enough there. Um, now let's see, we clean it up a bit on the other side. And 
and now we have the hole here it needs a bit of a cleaning up and as you can see you know it's a bit in here we put a, this type of a thing inside and um, you put up the eyelet and it's there it sticks out really well and you can see it fits under the hole it looks kind of dumb on the other side um, you can clean it up a bit and essentially what you do next is you put up a ring here you bend it you bend it as you much you need it to and you're gonna put it here like this through the hoops and uh, gonna bend it back like that and voila and there you have it you have a ring inside the thing now it looks pretty nice you should do some cleaning up here obviously you would cut some shit out of there you know clean it up you know but uh, this is how it looks and obviously you have here here it looks a bit more better a bit more clean I didn't do much on those very fast things to do but essentially it looks pretty nice I would say um, you know remember the areas and the marks here and uh, pretty pretty easy to thing to do and you you can put a lot of things in here and um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more material on on the channel yeah